Thank you very much. So this is the last lot of presentation before the reception. So the first one will be Carlos Soresina is here with Kimso. <laughs> Panel, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Carlo Soresina and I'm the co founder of Skipso. Skipso is the first business to business marketplace entirely focused on environmentally friendly technologies that, as you know, are, are also known as clean tech or green tech. So, what we do is we help clean tech companies all over the world find the resources they need to go to market faster and grow the business. So, access to capital and investors, partners and suppliers, or people and expertise. So we are a software company and we are focused on the clean tech market, which as you know is a multi-billion dollar market growing 40% year on year on average. And we are addressing the portion of the market that is uh, likely to transition more towards uh, the online space. So global R&D spend uh, here, you can see global marketing, global intermediation services. Let me step back one second and tell you why this is the case and also what is the problem we see in the market. As we heard before earlier today, the clean tech market is uh, extremely fragmented geographically, uh, dispersed, which makes it very difficult if you're a small business or mid-sized business to find these resources to grow your business. So imagine for a second being a, a small or mid-sized company in Mexico City and being able to tap into a global network of experts or innovators to improve your product or partners to commercialize your product and promote it or also access hundreds of grants and funding opportunities. Well, this is exactly what Skipso does with one click and at a fraction of the cost compared to traditional uh, channels. So how do we do it? We have uh, two parts in our proposition. The first one is the platform. So obviously to enable this model, we need to create a big uh, network. And we have a pretty unique approach to achieve this. So rather than asking everyone, the whole world, to come join Skipso, we license our uh, technology, our collaboration software, as a white label solution to existing communities around the world. So clusters, incubators, universities, research centers, associations, chambers of commerce, you name it. So any large clean tech organization is a customer of, our, of ours with regards to the platform. And we charge $5,000 a set a setup and uh, uh, from $250 per month uh, growing according to how big the platform is. So it's a software as a service solution. And this is pretty cool because it gives us access to a pretty unique global ecosystem of, of players which allows us to enable the second part of a proposition, what we call the crowdsourcing. And here's a real case study of a customer of ours. So GC Illumination was a small comp is a small company in Italy and they didn't have the resources in-house to develop a more energy efficient lead-based lighting solution. So they came to Skipso, they created a, a project with a $10,000 cash award, they scoped out the requirements and the project was pushed to the ecosystem. And they had uh, in about one month 60 expert solutions from companies and experts from 20 different countries and eventually they selected one company in the UK uh, called Juice Technology all from their office in the outskirts of Milan so pretty powerful I think and to do this the business model is there is a posting fee for the project and there is a success fee which is a percentage of the cash award so as a summary business model, we have platform, crowdsourcing, we also have sponsorship money, we just signed a deal with Autodesk, and in the future we're thinking of enabling premium services. We are already live, we have five platform deals signed uh, with some of the leading clusters. We also work very closely with, uh, with universities, so the MIT Clean Energy Community is powered by Skipso, hopefully we can get Stanford soon. And we have a number of strategic partners we're working with to, to basically do, build the indirect channel and push our brand globally. The two co-founders, myself and Felipe, have, have been working together for the last 10 years in three different companies. And we have the right uh, mix of skills, technical, product marketing and, uh, and business skills to, to execute, we think, and in particular to scale this. So to conclude some of the financial projections, we, have, uh, we, are, we started generating revenues in the last, uh, since November. We're forecast to go to 700,000 uh, this year, uh, profitability by Q2 2012, and ramping up uh, to 40 million by year five. We're looking to raise $500,000 in equity. We have 150,000 committed to date, and the money will be used to, to scale, and particularly pushing on the sales and marketing while we keep developing the platform. Thank you very much. If you like the idea, come visit us on skipso.com. Thank you. Thank you. Time now for uh, Gian Piero Tedeschi with Siena Solar.
Hello, good evening. It's a great pleasure to be here. My name is Gianpiero Tedeschi. I'm a managing director of uh, Siena Solar Nanotech, a startup based uh, in Siena that is developing uh, a new deposition technique for photovoltaics uh, thin film that is based uh, on a 20 year research uh, performed at the CNR ISMN Institute uh, in Italy, in Bologna. The technique uh, is a uh, totally new technique is, is called pulse plasma deposition. It, work, it works by ablation of a solid target uh, by uh, ultra-short and high-energy electron pulses. So we are targeting the PV market, in particular the equipment market. As you know, is a really huge market that is expected to grow a lot in the coming decades. It will become probably uh, giant commodity market. Uh, but there are some problems to be solved, in particular for the, for the thin film industry, because there are to, to grow and to, to lower the cost and to improve uh, the quality and the performance of the, of the modules. There are some problems like module size that needs to be increased, like uniformity and roughness of films that needs to be better, film thickness needs to be reduced to spare material, process temperature needs to be lower, and also uh, the position of uh, new and complex semiconductors needs to be enabled. And also capex is an important point because actual uh, equipment is very, very expensive. So we are addressing all these points with the PPD technology because it's a uh, high deposition ray technique, it's uh, easily scalable, it's uh, a simple technique, so can be cheap to, to build and uh, enable low thermal, uh, low, low temperature processes and also the control over large area is, is very good. Just to give you an example of an application, uh, cadmium telluride deposition of, uh, of cadmium telluride layers. This is the, ma the, the material that is a leader for, uh, for thin film uh, photovoltaics. And the conventional dimension is 0 0.7 square meter and 4 micro, micro, micron of thickness. We can do at least the double of the size with half of the thickness uh, per square meter with the same performances. So a few words about the, the team. The team is uh, quite small. We have three uh, of our uh, founders coming from the CNR Institute. In particular, Professor Tagliani is a well-known uh, scientist in nanotechnology, one of the, I can say, um, more uh, important Italian scientists, and uh, me, is, uh, I'm general manager and coming from the, from, from the PV industry. So our business model is in selling directly components based on the PPD technique, mainly to system integrators, to the company that builds machines and big production lines, and also licensing uh, processes based on, the, on this technique. Uh, we are looking for 3.3 million of dollars uh, for a second round of uh, financing. We already completed uh, the first last year for, with, uh, with about 2 million that were collected uh, in Italy from some Italian uh, venture capitalists. And uh, we, we use these funds to scale up the system and to build the first large area uh, machines in order to enter the market uh, next year. Uh, we expect to break even uh, one uh, year later and uh, our gross margin expected to be more than 30%. So thank you very much. Very good. So we are at the last presentation now, and with Iralus Cube, as you may see, is not as tall as the other two guys, but uh, I assure that it has a very powerful voice. So you will see now. Microphone. Okay. Hi everybody, my name is uh, Giuseppe Suriani, co-founder of Iralos Cube. Sometimes happens that you have to call someone, but you find your mobile phone battery dead. And now, I have to call my friend. Oh no, battery run down. No problem, 
I have the solution. I wear a t-shirt with our solar writing. Oh! Hi, Giuseppe! Hi, Salvo! <laughs> Fine, thanks! Sorry, I'm very busy. See you later. <laughs> Solar writing, this is the solution. So, it's very easy to understand what we do. Um, the question is, uh, why solar writing? It's so simple. From solar energy, through our solar writing, we charge your small portable electronic devices while you're jogging, tracking, and so on. Our product satisfies the energy needs of your cell phone, MP3 player, anywhere we are. Anywhere we are. So, how big is our total market? We have realized that there is a really huge market of about $139 billion. But we want to start with the real target market. So, uh, in the first phase, we want directly approach uh, the, the markets in green. Performance sport apparel, bag, backpacks, beach umbrellas, stand, and strollers. And in the second phase, the markets in blue. So, the, the total value of these uh, markets uh, uh, is about uh, 11 million dollars. Our business model, we want to sell our solar writing to original equipment manufacturer partners. So, um, our partners will then sell to their customer the solar generation. So, this model will allow us to reduce distribution and marketing costs. Um, starting from our ideas and technology, and thanks to an official cooperation agreement with the uh, Institute of M Microelectronic and Microsystem of the National Research Council, we have developed an innovative polymer-based photovoltaic cell that we call solar writing. Our product is uh, customizable, flexible, so it can very easily to integrate in your uh, jacket, uh, tent, uh, or t-shirt, uh, or whatever you want. Our technology is patented and uh, shows several advantages, above all, high conversion efficiency and uh, low cost. Our competitor, Serena, is rich, and we have the closest competitors like Conarca, SolarMer, G24i. But why is solar writing better? For instance, uh, low cost fabrication process, uh, nice look, uh, or ease application. Our team is composed of uh, um, three founders, two microelectronic engineers like me, and one PhD in material science. And the other people are two senior scientists at IMM CNR and one fashion expert. <laughs> we need now $1 million to testing and develop our prototype and two rounds. The first one of $4 million um, and, uh, within the second year and the second one of $15 million within the fourth year in order to start up a production line. We will reach our full production in 2016 and we estimated revenues of $240 million. And finally, improve your life with Eralos Cube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
it's uh, magnetic. It's a good impact. It's magnetic. Ah. Have, have you thought about using uh, solar deposition on the t-shirt? <laughs> 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 From the solar? Are you too mad? It's a hybrid technology. You can use polymeric part and uh, inorganic you know, part. And uh, and this can run the cell phone. Uh, well, is there also are you going to have a battery attached? Yeah, you can uh, create something that can uh, um, the pocket. Yeah, you can put here the battery. During the day, you can with the sun recharge the battery, and after you can use a boost for your cell phone. So, um, what got you in? <coughs> what made you decide to do this? Why? Yeah, why? Because <laughs> so we think that we can create a new product that uh, brings together the fashion. Ah, bring together sorry, <laughs> the fashion. You specifically. You. Why do you care about this? Why? Yeah. <laughs> because we can't. Oh, sorry. Because we <coughs> believe that. Uh, with the uh, solar writing, you can customize your solar cell and create something that is different. And uh, we, we want to use the F that is famous in Italy, the fashion and the design, and bring together with the technology, create a new product, and start the solar generation. <laughs> a new lifestyle. <laughs> I have a question uh, for you. Uh, you have a licensing model where you license your technology to different marketplaces around the world. Um, do you connect those together so that the data, you know, that if I represent my goods in one marketplace, they automatically get propagated to other marketplaces? Yes, yeah, so, so that's the whole concept. So we have these marketplaces, and then we've developed an API that connects all these. So if you're, imagine you're a company, Finland, which is one of our customers, and they want to maybe, uh, you know, access PhDs in the, at the MIT, so we enable that with our platform. So, so that's the whole idea of our ecosystem, and actually the idea is to replicate that across other verticals as well. So we started in clean tech, and then we would like to move to adjacent verticals like nanotech or biotech or other technology verticals. Uh, Jim Piero, um, do you have a, 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 any idea how efficient this is? I know it's thin, but then you always give up something in efficiency when it's uh, thinner. Do you, what, so is, what are you targeting? We are not targeting uh, <coughs> the construction of complete solar cell. This can be done, of course, but we are targeting uh, single, single process step applications, like, let's say, carbon chloride deposition. The <coughs> cell is made of uh, four or five layers, and so we we are not ready or uh, it takes a lot of time. You probably know better than me if you're already invested in the sector that it takes a lot of time to develop a complete cell, a complete solution. We think that this technology can help a lot uh, the industry because it's a new, options, a new option for production with a, a lot of potential. And so we are targeting single process step like uh, buffer layers or absorber layers. So we, we, we are Mm, we, we are uh, uh, developing complete solar cell, but it's not just to prove the technology. I can say we, we can do uh, usually 10% efficiency, but it's not an optimized solar cell. We, we see that uh, each single layer, layer has a very good quality and can be produced uh, at a very uh, high deposition rate uh, and can be scalable, so we see uh, that this technology can uh, improve a lot the way that thin films are made in the in the solar industry. Jim Perra, how, how well uh, proven is your technology? Is it proven at a small scale, and you have to make it much bigger? Okay, we have made we are, we have uh, uh, let's say um, R and D machines as it exists uh, for maybe ten years. Uh, last year we developed a uh, um, small demonstration system <coughs> that is uh, using multiple guns in a, in a, in a inline geometry. This uh, was needed to prove that this technology can be scalable and can be uh, can work in a inline uh, configuration that is uh, the usual config for configuration for the, for the industrial. Uh, 
uh, application. So it's proved on the small scale, let's say uh, 10 centimeter. And uh, what we, w we want to do now is to scale up because we have all the information we need, all the, all the results that, that uh, we need to, to scale up and to, and to prove this uh, in a real industrial environment. So, Carlo, um, is, your, is your hope that this becomes sort of like a series of mini X prizes? You know about the X prize? Sure. Series of mini X prizes for the clean tech world? Or is there something beyond that where people are just constantly using? What, I mean, what are you thinking? What, but there is suddenly five the, years, ten years out, what is your company? Sure, so the competition, so we run business plan competitions on our platform, so we run the equi equivalent thing in Europe as well with the London Business School, but the real vision is to, to create a real marketplace, a real business-to-business -business marketplace. So we really see, you know, by talking to these companies, that there is a real need to, to find these uh, resources, and today the market is inefficient. So it's, it's really beyond the competition itself. So the competition is probably useful for earlier st state startups, but there is there's a real need here for companies all the way throughout the life cycle to help them with this sort of marketplace. So the key here is to create a critical mass, and we think we've got the answer to it by creating this sort of hub and spoke type uh, ecosystem and then connecting them together. So it's, re it's really creating a real marketplace environment. Do the uh, vendors that sell in your marketplace pay a listing fee? Right now, no. So right now, it's uh, so the only people paying are the, the platforms and the end users to, uh, to, to create these uh, transactions, which could be you know, for looking for people, for, for partners. So that, that was one example I did. So the, 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 the vision is to, where, where you saw that I said we will probably charge for premium services, is to do that. So to charge either vendors or also companies who want to have more visibility, so to create some sort of marketing type packages, you know, so similar to Alibaba type model. Okay. All right, that, that was a marathon, guys, so it's very late. Can I call all the startups here, all of you? Let's give them a round of applause. And, and before we go and, uh, oh, sorry, and grab the remaining of the food, is 8.20, um, and you guys will have to talk and discuss what you think is the, is the best startup ever. Um, I just wanted to call out the mentors that have been working with these guys one-on-one, -on -one, day in, day out. So can you, you, the mentors are here, can you guys just stand? I want to give you a, a huge round of applause to you guys. <laughs> I, I think the, the end result, clearly showed, so is, uh, there's a good chunk of all this result is all, is all on you. So let's go and get some food and get some wine and let's reconvene here at 9 o'clock. Thank you.